Good morning. Welcome to Sunday Run Day. Yeah, it's Sunday. Long run day. Yay! I think I'm getting more and more nervous about these as they're going on. I worry about it that before. I prep. I stress about it. I just need to get on and do. That's what I need to do. Just get on and do. Sun's shining this morning. The skies are out. It's very chilly though this morning. It's last weekend of August, bank holiday, and the temperatures have definitely dropped. So just on a bit of a walk now. I think I need to get up to double figures today. Need to do at least about 10 miles. Last week, if any of you have seen last episode, I don't even know where I'm up to myself now. I'm boring myself a little bit, to be honest. Didn't go so well. I was running in Wales, up and down the hills. Um, the elevation was something like I have never experienced before whilst running and I only did eight miles and I was supposed to do about 10, 10 and a half. So I think maybe I am slightly one week back, but this training schedule actually allows for that. Um, one week, I think next week I'm supposed, I'm supposed to drop back a bit, just prepare for the big half marathon that this app is leading up to, but that's obviously not what I'm doing. So I can do 10 and a half miles this week and 11 next week or 11 and a half, whatever. I'm just going to run. I'm all prepared. I've got a audio book on today. I've got Elton John's audio book, so I'm going to go with that. I've got some gels. I'm all fully laden up like a professional. So just on my walk bit, I'm going to start running in a minute. Going on a completely different run today. Um, going down the side of the airport, down the runway, which I love. Parts of it are a little bit tricky, but compared to last week, this is relatively flat. So, wish me luck and I will no doubt talk to you while I'm running. See you in a bit. And this one here is runway two. I have never timed it right that a plane's going over. So I've just stopped for a couple of seconds because I'll see some bit of virgin planes, some planes over there. I'm at the airport again. I don't think I've done this route with you before. Obviously not the full route, the quick 5k down the side, but it's so peaceful here this morning, it's just lovely. Happy place. Oh, one of them anyway. I have several happy places. This beach, Disney. It's all about that life. Don't ask for too much. Almost four miles in. And a couple of stop starts, which I've had every card. So. <laughs> see the plane yay about six and a half miles in another three and a bit miles to go the lakes are very achy today i think yesterday's cliff top walk and friday's strength training is really taking its toll I really feel like i'm doing this all wrong I've done it before why do strength training before a long run go figure anyway keep going <laughs> so that's it, 10 miles done. <sighs> it wasn't easy, my legs are aching, really, really aching. I think I've done a really good pace though, so I'm quite impressed and I'm quite proud of myself. We have a few stop starts, we have a few stop starts and I try and film. I think it really interferes with my flow. Whether I should carry on, I don't know. I feel like I'm boring myself doing this stuff, never mind you guys, I don't think I've said that before. 
But I suppose it's just documentation for me, really. That's all it's about, I suppose, me documenting my journey and to look back on later on. Whether anybody else watches it, does it really matter? A way of looking back and trying to improve, maybe. Legs are definitely aching. I'm gonna do some stretches and foam rolling when I get back. I don't know what time of day it is. About half ten. The route that I picked, I thought, was just ten miles exactly. But obviously, last time I did it, I didn't include the warm-up walk, so it was like ten miles from my house back again. Getting to where you thought you were at probably about nine and a half miles and realising you've still got another mile and a half to go, adding an extra mile on was really mentally hard. So I thought I'd almost finished. Yeah, so mentally that was a challenge, having to add a bit of an extra mile loop on. But I did it. I'm just trying to walk home now. Good morning. Sunday run day. Coming a bit of a cliche, really, aren't I? It's just the way it falls sometimes. Um, I've been working for the last two days, so two 12 or 13 hour shifts, and now I've got to go and do a long run. Yay! Certainly not feeling it this morning, did not want to get out of bed. Certainly didn't want to get up early so I could take my medication and eat. But yeah, I've done it. It's now about half eight. The plan today is about 11 miles. Yeah, come on, think positive, Diane, think positive. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, I'm sure I can. So it's been my first week at work. I was supposed to be supernumerary, I was supposed to be just shadowing. Yeah, that didn't happen. Yesterday, I was pretty much put in charge of a unit. But there was loads of supportive people. Everyone's been very friendly and very lovely. So it's been really nice. The support element of, has been nice, but work was so busy yesterday. I'm just gonna try and take this easy, not push myself too hard. I need to go slowish and steady. Not slow, but just try low my pace so I can get that distance going further. That's the plan for today. Let's see how it goes. I think we're doing a similar route to we did the other day. Not sure how much I'm gonna film. I might just need to film occasionally when I need to stop and walk. So I will get going really soon. Hello, five miles in. Running under the runways. Sorry if there's loads of flashing lights. Anyway, that's how it is to be anyway. Got this. So it's an energy gel. It's this brand, the black currant flavour. Do I like it? I don't mind. I take it to help. And I hope it does help. Oh god. Lighting's just about to change. Just come out from underneath the runway. Feeling good. Just trying to stomach this. Keep okay, on listening to the Elton John book. It's really interesting. What a life this guy has led, honestly. It's just unimaginable. Anyway, better keep on. Try and stomach this. Yay! Cheers! My intention was to do 11 miles. I did 12. 12 miles. And I've just looked at my stats, and yeah, it was a brilliant run. Great time, great pace. I only set off to do a slow and steady run, which I thought I was doing. Obviously, going a lot quicker than I thought. The muscles were aching for the last 
through what I thought was supposed to be three miles ended up being another four. <laughs> Emily's just seen me and said, you don't look tired at all. Um, yeah, it was an amazing run. Um, I probably could have ran a bit further. Also, it was a bit achy. Need something to drink, need food. I might go and get in an ice bath again. But yeah, amazing run. Fabulous. I missed out a couple of sessions this week just because of work and I worked some overtime. So that has made up for it. And um, this is the end of this episode. Um, join me in the next vlog. I'm hoping you like this series. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And I appreciate any of your comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.